joke will be on me. Free DLC. What is that supposed to mean? A look at this um an honored guest the beast of winter a group called harbingers of dusk crap invite me to a feast of my honor at harbingers watch oh well i mean we're invited what the hell What? A wet, heavy thud draws your attention to the figure standing atop the icy cliff. Light glints off the cleaver holes ready overhead. The braid arcs down downward, invoke their red mist. Yeah, this is what's wrong. Kiss straightens as the gaze finds you. You see with a single point finger from a blood stained hand. It is you! Come at last! Greetings. Cup stop your fellow traveler. A day of glory this turns out to be. First auspices of a visitation, then the arrival of the Dusk Speaker. Truly, I hear the call of winter. Oh man, it's freezing out here, guys. It's the call of winter. You know, the final chorus. The lure of nothing. The dusk of being. The part in each of us that knows when the end is coming. That point after which struggle is meaningless. And what remains is only prelude to naught. Vatmir, our mentor, foretold your coming. He described you perfectly from toes to top. Praise be to Rimmergant. All right, Vatmir is the one who sent me this letter. Man squints down at the table before nine vigorously. Come in, Dusk Speaker, come in. Be sure to speak with our mentor, Vatmir. He's down in the chapel in the middle of the settlement. Okay. Season on tap, the beer. The Dusk Speaker has arrived. Okay. Looks like everyone's pretty tired. Oh, maybe not. Wow, we came a long way. I had no idea. I always thought of the beast as having four legs. An aurochs, yes. But with the torso of a man. Exactly. Wait. What say? How can God have torso of man and body of orcs? He is a god. He can be anything. The matted fur of this orc shows a pattern of streaming faces. Hello? The oldest worker could last but a blink against the depthless void of eternity. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. But, who cares? Harboring your Lesky. This sculpture carved from a block of ice towers over a glam, glam felon woman. She moves about the sculpture, chisel in one hand, a mallet in the other. Her scrutiny clings to you as if it melted. Excuse me. Turns to you, her snow white eyebrow arching over Amethyst's eye. Yes? What is it? Well, ain't she just a basket of warm and welcome? It's kind of cold down here, Zoti. No problem. That ain't the tone of a last glad to spy you, Cap. More than I'm familiar with it myself. That ain't the tone of a last. Right. Uh, where did you learn to sculpt? 
of Frost Ivan. From my mother. She taught me many things. To shape the ice, to hone an obsidian blade, to clean the carcass of a seal. Hmm. Oh, you wouldn't happen to know a Sagani, would you? I don't suppose you can tell me about this iceberg? Other than that it grows wider each moon and will in time swallow the whole of Eora. Okay. Other than that, yes. No, I cannot. Tis the will of the beast of winter, and not for me to question. Okay. That's certainly something... What's this supposed to be? Do you jest? Or was that your idea of an insult? No. It clearly represents Rimergan, the beast of winter, the final god. God of entropy. Obviously. Hmm. I thought Rimergan was less of an Auroch, man's Auroch, more of an Auroch's Auroch. Because the gods are limited to a single form. Is there something you need? Um, what brought you to this outpost? I am a creature out of place. Few respect art in the white that wins if it doesn't serve a function, if you can't carry it with you. Okay. Elsewhere, there would be little interest in an artist whose work is made to melt. Only here is its impermanence understood. Here, the final song crescendos into its final verse. Is there someone I should be talking to instead of you? Vatnir. He can often be found in the hut up the hill. Yeah. His features will identify him. He bears the touch of Rimergand. It's Rimergand right there. Cold, bad luck, famine, damn. I'm in a bad place. <laughs> what was I supposed to be doing here anyway? Just ensuring that. Keep on yourself the harbingers of dust that buy me a ten of feast. Come on. We're here. <laughs> and it's bloody freezing. Flat plane of ice rises above, harboring a watch. It angles slightly outward, overhanging the settlement like a protective curtain. Yeah, we're not gonna climb that. We are here to see this gentleman, and that's it. Let's talk to them first. Go, go, Vatnir awaits. Vatnir awaits. All right. Vatnir said to expect you. Right. Uh, the man stands from his fire and brushes his hands together, a smile spilling. Tatsy ice color. <laughs> Nobody said I should expect so many. No matter. Room will be made. If right. there is anything you require, you need but ask. I will strive to deliver. Oh, uh, and before I forget, a welcoming gift. Harboring your robes. Harboring your wood. Okay, crafted for more temperate weather. Uh, oh, harboring his watch, these clothes are lighter, far less bulky than traditional clothing of the white that wins the large cracks of southern expanse of polar ice. <laughs> the white that wins is home to pale elves, small colonies of daring explorers like ourselves. While virtually no plant life grows in the white, it is home to many hardy species of dangerous animals that forage from the sea are preying upon each other to survive. Um, I need supplies. What I have is yours, for trade or coin, until the end comes.
so mad. Hello again. Okay, you're here because of your belief. <laughs> of course, aren't you? I'm here because Vatner invited me. He casts no summoning spell, no binding rite. Your coming was of your own accord. Death walks in hand with life in the white glens. The priests of the wheel would have you believe they follow one after the other. Right. It is not so. I found a rift once, at the bottom of the world, and in it a cap, a clan's worth of Glamfellon, huddled and still. Their stories, their blood, their ambitions, none persevere. I chase not the end, but accept its inevitability. It is a thing to be celebrated at the ending of an epic, finely sung. Vatnir understands that, so I follow his lead. A single right. incident hardly speaks to a fundamental truth. <laughs> you are correct. Every incident speaks to a fundamental truth. Come, come, shake off the snow, warm yourself at the hearth. Right. Okay, well. <clears throat> we don't need a room right now. We're here to see this Vatner guy. It's unusual. That nerdy in here? Yeah, he does it. This Aurok skull is tightly fixed to those wooden planks. You can barely make out a small lever tucked within recesses of the skull's left eye. Poor lever. Something stirs beneath the board. Your attention shifts to the northern wall. Sound of a hidden mechanism realigned. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Okay, a major healing. We will be taking that. Yes, we will. Need some healing. Who needs some healing? Bears was built everywhere. A book of holy symbols that has barely escaped the mess. abilities I have two none two I'll just perception I think I'm the best yeah. candidate for this on it wow fine nail push of iron skin push of clean Right. Fine nail. Spell point erosion. Four things power armor. Oh, 
this by mail might be something we sell. We sell that um Out to be a profitable little venture here. I mean, as long as it's not stealing, we will gladly keep these supplies. Ah, let's go see our host. Jury's in here. Right. And why shouldn't we fear death? What offers death save erasure? Oh, wow. What the heck? Man speak before the room wears the same tattered robe as his gathered congregation, but his hat is wrapped in soiled strips of linen. Oh, man. What? Return to life cleansed of experience and understanding. Ignorant, set to suffer again. To repeat our mistakes endlessly. To fail. But the beast would spare us this suffering. Would offer us succor. Mercy. But it seems our guest has arrived. Come, Dusk Speaker, join our circle. <laughs> this should be interesting. <laughs> I have a priestess of Aeth. Look here. upon the dusk speaker and be glad, brothers and sisters, for he heralds an end to your suffering. Okay. Um. I present to you the Watcher of Kad Nua, father of the Defiance Bay riots. Uh, was I, his fa I wasn't the father of that. In whose wake fell the Hollowborn curse upon the Deerwood. It's funny, I seem to recall ending. Who dethroned Lord Radric? Rightful sane of Gilded Vale, plunging that land into anarchy. <laughs> this tale has been a bit twisted coming south, I see. You mean there's alternatives to government by brawling? We don't get to see a lot of places that have their act together. <laughs> okay. Then came back and killed them again. <laughs> and stone and soil gave rise to the great green giant that even now strides across the dead fire. Um, <clears throat> I don't think my actions had anything to do with that. The gathered congregation whispers prayers, hands rise in thankful supplication to the Beast of Winter. The Beast of Winter is the avatar most primal expression of the god Rimgard, which takes form of a massive, upright standing Aurochs. In keeping with Rimgard's portfolio of death as a destructive and final ending, Beast is synonymous with merciless execution. He symbolizes sorrow and inevitability of stillness and the end of all things. Inevitability seems to be the only thing that the beast actively cares about. Whereas any effort to stifle or delay one's destruction seems a prey to chase down beaten under <laughs> a beast's frozen hooves. Oh, yikes. Full glad are they to see you, Watcher, for they came to pay homage to Rimurgand and bear witness to the final dissolution of Eora by his hand. God, this guy's a nut. Your coming fulfills prophecy. Wheresoever strides the Dusk Speaker, 
So falls falsehood torn away. So discards false cycles. So quiets dawn and dusk. Um, I have high hopes for you. Is this why you invite me out here to fulfill your prophecy? Batner says nothing for a moment. His passive mass hides his feature, but the cant of his head suggests that he's considering your question. <laughs> I think perhaps more to put your role in it to the test. Prophecy fulfills itself by its nature. But your identity as the Dusk Speaker, that's not yet irrefutable. Right, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not here for the end of the world. <laughs> Precisely my point. Whether or not you mean to cause chaos, <laughs> chaos follows in your way. You know what? I think You're we're going to be leaving. Chosen, whether or not you choose to be. Yeah, we're going to be leaving. Now, if we may have the pleasure of your company, Dusk Speaker, we've prepared a feast, at least by the standards of our humble means. For his, your. His words are cut off by a tremor. Oh, great. The, the messenger returns! Oh, great. Points in the same grade. Go forth and bear, bear witness to his message. Investigate the message. Oh, don't leave me behind. Oh, here for me. Um. The oh. messenger awaits you. And I shall follow close behind. I'm sure he will. He's bailing. <laughs> He's bailing. <laughs> oh, crap. He's bailing on us. I know he is. I can, <clears throat> I recognize that word in those tones. What are you doing, man? I got to grab what I can out of here. Oh. Yeah, your uh, your guy is bailing on us. What's the story with that? Arrives. Hurry up, talk, lest you miss his majestic fury. Oh lord. <laughs> Rats. Oh shit. So close. Sorry. Such grace, such majesty. Oh crap! It's a dragon, dude. No, oh! Don't leave! Come back! Oh, you'll feel this in a minute! Oh, snap! They're happy? These folks are making the scan ice look downright reasonable. <laughs> They're insane! We're getting the hell out of here, guys. There's no way in hell we're dealing with the dragon. Oh, crap. And he wants to talk to us? I hope to God we don't have to fight this thing. <laughs> I guess I'm volunteered, right? Oh, thanks. This dude looks massive. Damn. The dragon or this rotting shell shaped like a dragon. Turns a glowing eye upon you. You feel its gaze upon your soul, prying at your spirit. Um. I, I'm not gonna be disrespectful. Um. Don't mean to interrupt. I'll be on my way. It's not the yes, coward. You're supposed to be the creature's mouth curled a rotting pain as its laughter flies at its edge or your thoughts. Um. My experience, dragons usually love the sound of their own voice. Dragon shifts its weight, crushing snow and ice beneath its clawed feet as it turns on you. Oh, crap! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Who? What? You know what? We are running, guys. This is... This is about as 
dumb of a move as I've ever done. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> Just run for it. We are not fighting no damn dragon here. We are not fighting a dragon. This is absurdity. Yeah, we're running for it. We're getting the hell out of here. Can we climb this thing? What the hell? <coughs> Screw this. Screw this. You guys caught us in a trick move. The hell with this. I'm getting on my ship and I'm leaving. I'm not fighting no damn dragon. This is absurd. Can I end in stealth mode? Hello? <laughs> oh, shoot! Am I dead? Oh, snap! Oh, snap! What the? Oh, come on. This is absurd. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, shoot. Damn it. This is just a ripoff, man. Oh, shoot. Freaking hell! It's like where to go? Oh, ah, oh, this is just suck, man. <laughs> oh shoot! But we are certainly not going to get close to this damn thing. This is ridiculous. Switch weapons. We are not shooting. All we're going to do is shoot this thing. Oh, God. This is a ripoff. This is, oh, what the hell? Who's that? Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. Damn it. What I got myself into, man? <laughs> hmm? Um. Oh, crap. Shoot it. Shoot again! Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, crap, man. There's no way I should be fighting this. I. Uh. Okay, okay. Doesn't mean that all is lost. That might be something good to drink here. It doesn't get immolated. Go 
Drink that. Oh crap. Yeah, they want some of bitches did a trick move. Oh. <laughs> they did a trick move on our asses. Basically, they did a trick move. Oh, crap. Yeah, we can't deal with this dragon, unfortunately. There's a dragon here. And it's just way too high of a level. I had no idea. I mean, it, darn it. I just spent a lot of provisions coming here. Alright, I'll tell you what. We're going to... We're going to get some provisions. We are not going to go see Vatner. Heavy thug. It is you! Come at last! It is me. How kind of you to notice. Greetings. Ghost of your fellow traveler. A day of glory this turns out to be. First auspices of a visitation, then the arrival of the dusk speaker. Truly I hear the call of winter. Um. <laughs> yeah. What's the call of winter? You know, the final chorus. The lure of nothing. The dusk of being. Sorry. The part in each of us that knows when the end is coming. That point after which struggle is meaningless. And what remains is only prelude to naught. Okay, yeah, that sounds really bad. Vatmir, our mentor, foretold your coming. He described you perfectly from toes to top. Praise be to Rimmergam. Rimmergam. God of entropy, cold winter, bad luck, man. <laughs> the natural disasters. Manifest of the giant albino aurochs moving amidst a great blizzard. Man, this sounds really bad. I've got an invitation. Vatner Swan who sent me this letter. Man squid sound of the paper before not in vigorous. Come in, Dusk Speaker. Come in. Be sure to speak with our mentor, Vatni. He's down in the chapel in the middle of the settlement. Yeah, I think Vatnir might have to... The Dusk Speaker has arrived! It sounds like a death trap to me. We're gonna kind of play along... Yeah, we just can't deal with that, uh... Quickly get... and quietly. See if we can find some supplies. Then we're getting out of here. Ooh. Mohora meat. We might... Once a near omnipot omnipresent this throughout the dead fire, whale meat has fallen in demand with the introduction of more reliable meat sources, advancements in commercial fishing. Mahor is still a vital food source among the wayfarers of Tawana. The beast is having four legs. An aurochs, yes, but with the torso of a man. Exactly. Wait, what say? How can God have torso of man and body of orcs? He is a god. He can be anything. Okay. Man of fur, this orc shows a pattern of screaming faces. Yeah. Talk 
to this place. Hello? Sculpture card from a block of ice. Towers of a Glenfellan woman. She moves about the sculpture, a chisel in one hand, a mallet in the other. Scrutiny clings to it as it, if it might melt it. <coughs> Does not respond. Excuse me. Turns to you, her snow white eyebrow arching over an amethyst eye. Yes? What is it? Well, ain't she just a basket of warm and welcome? Well, it's cold down here. You have to cut them a little slack, Joey. That ain't the tone of a lass glad to spy you, Cap. More than I'm familiar with it myself. <laughs> Zoe lifts her chin in interest. Um, where did you learn to sculpt? Elf crossed From her arm. From my mother. She taught me many things. To shape the ice, to hone an obsidian blade, to clean the carcass of a seal. Okay. I don't suppose you can tell me about this iceberg. Other than that it grows wider each moon and will in time swallow the whole of Eora. Other than that, yes. No, I cannot. Tis the will of the beast of winter, and not for me to question. Beast of winter is the avatar most primal expression, Dom Rimgard, which takes the form of a massive, right, 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 destructive and final ending. Beast is, is synonymous with merciless execution. That sounds really bad. Well, what brought you to the outpost? I am a creature out of place. Few respect art in the white that wins if it doesn't serve a function. If you can't carry it with you. Okay. Elsewhere, there would be little interest in an artist whose work is made to melt. Only here is its impermanence understood. Here, the final song crescendos into its final verse. All right. Well, I'm not going to ask. That's kind of rude. Is this someone I should be talking with? Vatnir. Instead? He can often be found in the hut up the hill. His features will identify him. He bears the touch of Rimagand. Oh, I should be off. Okay. Um. I'm not going to talk to that Vatnir. Bring about some bad things, but stubbornness, dwelling. Native corals crushed with fine with fine power mixed with gunpowder. Yikes. That sounds nasty. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna rob them. Like that wins. <laughs> kind of a description of someone lost in the wind. Hello? Hello? Arbringer Blight. Dusk speak. You are the Dusk Speaker, Knight? Right. Uh, so people keep telling me. <laughs> it's all a bit much, isn't it? The end of the world rubbish. Yes, it is. I could, well, we all could, actually, we could really use your aid. Okay. There's another group up top, on top of the ice, I mean, high above the watch. They attack anyone they see, us included. They make it very difficult to, well, to get to Rimugan's temple, among other things. Who exactly are these other people? Another group of Rimugan's worshippers. We call them the Lost Pilgrims. Okay. So where did these pilgrims come from? They're from the land as well. They came here a few decades before we did, on much the same mission. When none returned, we thought them all dead. Okay. They're from the land as well. Right. They came here a few decades before we did, on much the same huh. mission. When none returned, we thought them all dead. 
Okay, so why are they so hostile? Well, only knows. They seem to think they're protecting something. Like the flow is sacred. Neva Day thinks they've all gone a bit mad out here all alone. Or that something in the ice is rotting their minds. Uh, maybe I can take care of it next time I stop by. Finally, good news. You've no idea how rare a thing that is. Okay. The pilgrims keep camped in the ruins atop the ice wall. High Harbinger Vatne can explain how to get up there, if he hasn't already. Yeah, Was there something else you wanted to know? What do you do here in Harbinger's Watch? Whatever needs doing. Odds and ends and such. Okay. The whole community works together to survive. I hump, I weave, I roast a delicious Isai. Okay, you seem very young to be out here. She snores. <laughs> Crossing her arms and squaring her shoulders. I'll have you know, I've nearly 60 winters behind me. More than you, I reckon. Uh, that's true. <laughs> I've been here for a solid 10 winters already. Came looking for, well, something I've not found yet. Okay. Strictly yeah. uh, speaking in a religious sense. Sure you are. Okay. Well, great talking with you, Harbring. Maybe our next visit will... Yeah, this place is deadly. Now, on it. I'm just going to borrow a few supplies here. Yeah, some water. And we came here, but you guys seem to have some problems that are a bit beyond us right at this moment. Okay, so let's head out. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Come on. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Where's that guy? <laughs> Where, where's the guy that says that? Okay. See if we can find My more supplies. for goodies anything that may have escaped notice Godfather newcomer. Godfather. And Orhoma greetings. Good to meet you. The woman's smile almost warms the cold air around Harbring his watch. A few strands of coppery hair flicker in the wind. And her robin eye hue skin shimmers with faint iridescent freckles. Hi. I trade in the harvest of the sea. Always bountiful. All fresh caught. Though it being so cold here, fresh stays fresher than fresh. <laughs> That's for sure. See anything that interests? Where do you get these fish? Everything's frozen. <laughs> it is not ice all the way down, newcomer. Okay. <laughs> they may come out a bit hard and cold, but for that we have the fire, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so what brought you here? I assume you're from here. You say down, as if this is north of the white that wins. Um. This is the end of the world. The culmination of all things. The final chapter of the final book. Yeah, it's pretty cold what down here. What fool would not want to be here? Uh, a lot of fools. <laughs> Namely, this fool. Take a look for yourself. It's bloody cold down here. Um... More slaves. I 
not going to spend any money. I think we have enough food. Food, food. We can pick up a lot of food. What I'd like to do is sell some of this stuff. Got Fatia, newcomer. See and take a look for you. Let's sell some of this stuff. Let's go. We're just here for supplies. Go, go. Bat near awaits. Yeah, <laughs> bat near. <laughs> bat near tricked us. I know he's got a trick. Godfather, ah, he must be our honored guest. Bat near said to expect you. Yes, the man stands from his fire and brushes his hands together, smiles, splitting his. Patchy, I <laughs> Not that he said I should expect so many. No matter. Room will be made. If Thanks. there is anything you require, you need but ask. I will strive to deliver. Oh, and before I forget, a welcoming gift. Alright, thank you. Uh, I what I have is yours. For trade or coin. Until the end comes. Right. Two, two, two. And water. Added armor. So that. Okay. A large foot and an heavy bullet, our chap. Right, so we are poke around here and just with a little. Just gonna poke around. We're not gonna go see a Vatner. Um, his mission is just too difficult. Yeah, this is. I had no idea this would be so difficult. It's way above our party level. Oh, 
Ancient Cleansing. Minus 25%. Oh, wow, excellent. We'll take that. It's built. Okay. We are going to leave. So as I said, this is just too difficult of a task for our party. Looking for her head. Yeah, Vatna, we'll be seeing you later. Another time, another time. Hello again. Need what I have is yours for trade or court. Court. Seven. So we have. Yeah, I picked up a bunch of water already. I picked up 50 water, so we will be provisioned with water. Make sure we have enough food. So we have enough food for seven days. And plus, I have my heart attack. Okay. <laughs> More heart attack here. Oh, good. Morale goes down. Plenty of water, more heart attack. Do that rice, and then we'll bring on that. Uh, so that's two days, three days, and then on hard tack, we'll be fine. Entire loaf. Oh yeah, we'll be good for the journey. All right, we're headed back. Let's go. Sorry, Vodnir. You didn't tell me your your mission was that difficult. It's a trick. Let's see about this. Yeah, we can't climb that bare hand thing. We'll get to that another time.
No time, Vatner. Another time. Yeah, let's head to, um, Dunnings. Let's go after this guy. Got a long journey ahead of us, undoubtedly. But along the way... I stop there. Woo! Doing quite well. How many men do they have? They have 14 men. Attempt to flee? Oh no! Oh crap! Can we board them? Okay, with some quick maneuvering, the flying secures the wing gate. For the <laughs> when has chance to come out, paint it for themselves. Oh man! Oh shit! Um. Hmm. How far are they from us? Prepare board. Shit. Retreat? Can we retreat? <laughs> oh no! Things in support. Oh, good. Sift through the records. Gain some ingredients. All right, got some food. Gain iron, hammer, and chill.
Oh, so we just picked up some more money. <laughs> you meet search the ship top to bottom, nothing that's the value. Well. Yeah, I'm glad we retreated there. I had no idea what I was doing. Through the distant haze of sea mist and rocky shadows, Fort Deadlight rises above the horizon. Approaching a pirate stronghold is a risky venture, even for the most skilled of mariners. Any ship not flying a pink flag as sighted in deadlight shall only be raided. Abaddon's iron smote Scott Captain. He goes even bigger than I remember. Seraphin looks up at the fortress from the deck and hails through his teeth. I can be about to say you with guards. He can be getting us to the dock without being blasted thrice over. Otherwise, I recommend sneaking as close as you got. Well, as close as Obviously, we're not assaulting that place. Run roll to the shore. I'm gonna cover night. Waves slap at the side of your skiff, the only sound aside from the occasional grunt of exertion as you stealthily row to the island shore under a shroud of darkness. You stow your skiff in the shadow of the towering walls and keep forward in search of way into the fort. Alright, we're here for that fool Captain Benwick. 